What happened to Michael Douglas? A riptide and a snowstorm both came very close to taking Douglas' life. At 67, he overcame tongue cancer. Because of rigorous treatment, he lost 32 pounds. Throughout the pandemic, his health continued to deteriorate. Short-term memory loss is currently affecting the actor. One of Hollywood's most recognizable denizable stars is Douglas. Kirk Douglas, another great actor, is his father. His father passed away at age 103. Douglas has been alive for 78 years. The actor acknowledges experiencing aging's effects. In 2010, he experienced his first significant health issues. Douglas received a throat cancer diagnosis in that year. The prognosis surprised everyone. What Douglas believed to be an infection was being treated. But his physician discovered something much worse. The actor recalls thinking, oh, when he had that expression in his eye. He had reached stage 4 by then. He ran the risk of having an ugly procedure. The surgeon warned Douglas that the procedure would not be pleasant if it were necessary. You lose a portion of your jaw and tongue, you know. Douglas abandoned the plan immediately. He had vigorous chemotherapy and radiation therapy. In 2011, the actor declared that he was cancer-free. He blamed stress, drinking, and frequent smoking for his sickness. Douglas, though, was caught smoking soon after surviving cancer. He had lost 32 pounds thanks to his therapy. Putting Douglas on a diet to acquire weight. Behind the Candelabra, directed by Steven Soderbergh, starring him in 2013. Matt Damon is paired up with Douglas' sport characteristic Liberace. He won a Golden Globe and an Emmy for the part. He later made an appearance in the MCU series. During the epidemic, his health deteriorated once more. As Douglas himself acknowledged, during this COVID-19 period, doing much more couch potatoing, I have been shocked by the reduction of my stamina. He also observed short-term memory problems. Douglas, however, does not believe that to be the case now. He has been transparent about using illegal substances. Oddly enough, narcotics were the reason for his friendship with Danny DeVito. In the 1960s, the two actors connected in New York. Doug was relaxing on the beach when DeVito approached him. You get high? He asked. They then shared a joint. Douglas has even crazier tales to share. For instance, he had experienced two near-death experiences. He once found himself in Colorado after a bad snowstorm. He constructed a pine branch hut as a means of survival. In college, he experienced a frightening incident. Douglas was body surfing in California. He was then unexpectedly swept away by a riptide. He struggled but kept falling down as he was submerged. Douglas eventually gave up resisting the flow. It ultimately enabled him to emerge again. Michael Douglas learned a lesson from this experience.